Welcome to the WAC Roundup for women's basketball as we take a look at this past week's round ball action. I'm Rachel Vigil. At the beginning of this season, Utah Valley was picked eighth in the preseason media poll, but after two weeks of conference play, the Wolverines are 3-0. Playing at Seattle, the Red Hawks with a 10-point lead in the third quarter, but it doesn't stand up. UVU wins 58-55. Eve Brassless scores a game-high 18 for the Wolverines. Kansas City is also unbeaten in league play. The Roos playing at California Baptist. The Lancers led by as much as 11, but the Roos come back behind Erica Mattingly's 30 points and 10 rebounds. UMKC wins 78-74. to New Mexico State's men's team had a shot at the buzzer for a big-time game winner on Thursday, and on Saturday, the Aggies women's team wouldn't be outdone. Playing at CSU Bakersfield, the game is tied with two seconds left. Adenike Adarinto with the game winner. The Aggies pick up a 61-59 victory. On Thursday night, New Mexico State visiting Grand Canyon. The Lopes lead nearly the entire game and win 54-51. Taylor Caldwell scores 15 points. Two days later, UTRGV visiting Phoenix. GCU leading at the half as Laura Piera hits the three. Adele Turk responds with the three at the buzzer of the third quarter. Vicaros won a big one on the road, 66-50. In Riverside, California Baptist and Chicago State looking for their first WAC wins of the season. CBU puts away the Cougars winning by 37. The Lancers are now 1-3 in the WAC. The WAC Player of the Week is California Baptist Brittany Thomas, the junior averaged 19 points, 16 rebounds, and 4.5 and blocks on the week. Make sure to check out the Road to WAC Vegas this Wednesday. We'll preview some of the WAC Hoops action coming up later this week. For the WAC Digital Network, I'm Rachel Hill.